I came down the field to see if the tawny mining bees have reawakened and they have. You see all those holes? All those are mining bee holes and nests. So they're all over the place. So we have a big colony of them here, tawny mining bees. And at one stage they were thought extinct in Ireland. And I had to pipe up and say, ah, uh, no, we have them here. Now, this big oak tree at the time was standing upright. So they didn't have this beautiful bank of soil to create their colony. They were, our colony was up over the field, all the way up over there. It was a big colony. And I did some film footage of them coming in and out of the, their soil. There goes one just gone into its house. Let's see. Um, I'll have to get them because they're beautiful, beautiful looking bee. They're single bees. Uh, there's one going in. They go in so fast. Um, and we put a fence up here because that's very deep and a horse or a sheep could fall in there and get stuck. So let me see if I can get over here. There's more activity so that I can film one going into its house so that you can see they're beautiful. Oh, that's gone. There's one going into a house there. There you can see it's a lovely tawny color. Full of pollen to go into its nest under there. Oh, a spider might get this one. Its entrance to its nest is covered in cobwebs. It seems to be getting through them and going into its house. Gone. I have a series of very patient dogs waiting for me as I film tawny mining bees patiently sitting outside the fence as I lean over it to look at tawny mining bees. They're only just starting to get busy. You can see their little mine shafts there and there all up through here and all up through there. So these are bees that live in a community, but not together. They're individual bees going down their shafts to feed their young or coming out to find more pollen. <laughs> 